In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a poster in Word. And this is exactly how our poster will look like after we have finished creating it. So if you want to learn how to create your own poster in Word, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Online Office Teacher, where I help you manage your data and information through online video, just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That being said, let's create our poster. Having opened Word, I go over to Insert, and I click on Shifts, and I go ahead and choose Rectangle. In here, I draw my rectangle starting from this corner. Like that. Next, I'm going to go ahead and edit the rectangle. So I go over to Insert Shapes Group. Then I click on Edit Shape. I choose Edit Point. Upon hovering on the shape at this corner, I just go ahead and click. And you see that I now have this node that I can use in order to edit my shape. So from here, I just grab going down. I can also click here. To make this particular node available for me, I grab it, then I open it this much. Perfect. I can click aside to see how it looks. You see that I have some space up here. I select the shape and I go ahead and use the up arrow key in order to fill the space. Awesome. The shape has an outline. I don't need it. So I go over to shape outline. Then I go ahead and choose no outline. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and insert an image. So to do that, I go over to insert, then I click on pictures, this device. This is the picture I want to use. I select it and I click on insert. You see that my picture is behind my shape. So what I do is under picture format, I go over to wrap text then I choose in front of text. So with this, I can now go ahead and work with my image. So I drag it down and I'll go ahead and open it up like this, this much. And I'm going to go ahead and take it down and I'll make sure I don't see white space at the ending of the shape. So I close it up like this. Take note that there are no specific sizes with regards to the shapes and the image. Now you see that the image is on top of the shape. So what I do is I go over to the arrange group, then I drop down the arrow under send back, then I choose send backward. Now you see that the shape is on top of the image. Next, I go ahead and draw another shape to fill this particular portion. So I go over to insert shapes, I choose rectangle, then I go ahead and draw my rectangle. Perfect. I make sure every space is closed. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and duplicate this particular shape. To do that, I select it, then I can hold down Control key on the keyboard and press D to have it duplicate. And you see that after duplicating, the shape has shifted from the original one. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill this particular one with a different color. So it's still selected. I go over to Shape Fill, I choose White. Next, I'm going to take the white shape behind the blue shape. To do that, I go over to send backward, I click on it, click again till it gets to the back. Next, I go ahead and hide some portion of this part of the white, so I can use the arrow keys. At the moment, I'm using the right arrow key. Next, I go ahead and reduce the space right here, so I use the up arrow key. Perfect. Next, I go ahead and change the color of this particular shape, so I select it. I go to shape format, shape fill, and I'm going to go ahead and choose this dark blue. I'll do the same thing to this particular one. I select it. I choose the dark blue. Meanwhile, I don't need an outline, so I go to shape outline and choose no outline. Next, I'm going to go ahead and display some interior images of the building. To do that, I go over to insert pictures, this device. And I'll go ahead and select this insert. It is behind the shapes. I go over to wrap text and I choose in front of text. And I'm going to go ahead and crop it. I don't want it this wide. So I go over to crop. 
and I'll crop it from here. Maybe something like a square. And I click back on crop to deselect it. Next, I go over to picture styles. Then I drop down the arrow and I'm going to go ahead and choose a style. I can change the border color by choosing white. And I'll reduce the size a bit. Perfect. Next, I take it to the location I want, like this much. And I'm going to go ahead and create another one. This time around, I'll make it smaller. So what I can do is I can go ahead and duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D. And I'll move it like this. I'll reduce the size. And I'll go ahead and change the image. So I'll go to change picture, this device, and I'll choose this one, insert. Perfect. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and enter some text for my poster. To do that, I'm going to use text box. So I go over to insert and I click on text box. I can go ahead and draw a text box like this. And I enter the title. Elegant home. And I'm going to go ahead and center it. And I'll change the font to Vedana, I increase the size to 48 and I will make sure it's in one line, perfect. I close up the space right here. I don't need the white background, so I go over to shape format, fill, no fill, shape outline, no outline. However, I will change the text color to white. So I go over to home, then I change the color from here. I can also make it bold. Now it's in two lines again, meaning I have to open up to get one line. Perfect. Meanwhile, it's not aligned properly. So I go over to shift format again. Under line, I choose center. Next, I draw another shape. So I go over to insert text box, draw text box, and I'll draw a small one like this. This time around, I'll enter for sale. First of all, I can go ahead and remove the shape fill and shape outline. Next, I select the text. I go over to home. I change the font to Verdana. I make it bold. And the size, I make it 18. And I'm going to go ahead and change the color to white. I center it. Then I also go ahead and center the text box. Align, align center. I want to move it on top a bit, so I select the text box and I use the up arrow keys to move it on top. Next, I'll get another text box. This time around, I'll just use this simple text box. Drag it down a bit and I'll just go ahead and enter in some text like this. I'll format the text by going to home. i change it to Verdana. Now change the font size to 14, make it white. Meanwhile, I will remove the background and shape outline. I'll open up the text box like this much. And I'll go ahead and center it. Perfect. Finally, I get some contact information right here. So I can copy this text box. Copy, come in here, paste can bring it here in the middle and I'll change it to contact or maybe info, something like that. Hit enter. Open up the text box a bit. Perfect. Now the design of our poster is done. I can zoom out. Awesome. I like it. So with this, you can go ahead and print it out and start sharing. So that's it on how to create a poster in Microsoft Word. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button, subscribe, and also enable the notification bell so that you miss out on future videos. Keep watching, and I'll see you in the next one.